not prepared to rule out the parasite hypothesis. <laughs> Today we're diving into another one of your requests, the Venture Bros. We're going to be learning about and breaking down all the medical type situations and bizarre escapades of pseudo-heroic scientist Dr. Rusty Venture and his two over-enthusiastic sons. But before we get into it, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doctor. If you enjoy the educational reaction videos and other stuff that you see here on this channel, please smash that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's dive right in. Like him. I don't want to show my junk to a little boy. Could we just do this, please? Oh my gosh. Holy mackerel. <laughs> I am not prepared to rule out the parasite hypothesis. <laughs> <laughs> what? There are some rare parasites that you could get. You wouldn't outwardly like see it. Be careful swimming in like lake water, river water, and peeing. There are these weird parasites that can actually swim upstream from your urine into your urethra. Well, the good news is you don't have a parasite. The bad news is that you have a condition known as acute testicular torsion. Oh! No, that is a huge difference. So it has nothing to do with his penis, it has to do with his testicles. Torsion means twisting. So what ends up happening is the testicle actually twists internally. You have the testicle, you have the spermatic cord, the blood vessels, seminal vessels, everything that are attaching. It's a surgical emergency. Your balls to pull the 180. We could do nothing. We'll probably keep swelling. And let me tell you that beach of all you're packing down there can't afford that. <laughs> It is basically told he's got a small scrotum. Or I could perform archaeopathy. That means he wants to operate on you. No way! He's not gonna operate on me! Now what happens if we wait? My guess is that in a couple of hours, your son's testes are going to die. If it does go untreated ischemia to the tissue, okay, then decreased oxygen to the tissue, then death of the tissue, then death of the testicle. Then atrophy. Think raisin. As for untwisting them, I don't know which way they spun. You typically only have one that torses. You twist it one way, if it gets worse, then you try to untwist it the other way. That is prior to doing surgery. Then once you're in there, you can actually see which way it's twisting and kind of unravel it, so to speak. The pain would be excruciating. All right! If you have any ailment relating to your genitals, get seen immediately. Don't worry about embarrassment. Trust me, every surgeon, every doctor is acutely aware of the importance of getting seen immediately. You've been brought here to perform a heart transplant. Ooh. Oh, come on, every f***ing <laughs> time I should have guessed. I got kidnapped to perform another illegal surgery. <laughs> I love this surgeon. Now, the heart is being kept functional in this weird fluid, you know, getting oxygen and blood supply to it, to the tissue, which is great that we don't have apparatus like this. Currently at the hospital, literally, you get a heart from somebody that just recently passed away, and then you have a certain amount of time to get that organ into another human being that's being transported via an ice cooler. No, this surgery is legal. Far from U.S. restrictions, and with your new diploma, you will get the credit, fame, and fortune you deserve. So we got good EKG tracings, the eyes are shut. We got, you know, everything ready for surgery. This heart is huge. It is the size of his whole body. So your heart is like a little bit bigger than the size of your fist. You know, it depends on the size of your body too. But, but the guy that he's transplanting has a ginormous body, so he might need a ginormous heart. We'll see if it fits. Oh my God, it's like a baby doctor. It's not like a flower, you don't put it in that way. But you see the different tubing actually that's flowing in, so it's different blood. It's almost accurate, because they're trying to show that there's different mechanisms going on, but it needs to be on a machine that's pumping. What the hell is going on? How did you get here? After I finish this transplant, I'll be famous, and I'm gonna get a reality show, and I'm gonna marry young models that wouldn't look at me before my TV show. All right. <laughs> Besides being the underwear, on the underwear, ideally you'd be in a lot different situation, but I wonder what kind of anesthesia that he used to knock him out. I don't see any oxygen going. I don't see any, you know, gas to keep him down, but he's probably getting some IV meds to keep him asleep. It never comes off, Billy. The bad blood stains your hands. If you can live with knowing that you gave that killer a second chance at life. 
but I can't just walk away. We doctors take a Hippocratic oath and it says we shall never willingly harm a patient. Yes, we get people, even myself, we get people who come from jail, who committed horrible acts to other human beings. It's not our place as physicians to be a moral high ground. What the hell is happening? Okay, we got a baby that just ate another baby. Sometimes the twins, you can have a dominant one and a non-dominant one, and then one accidentally kills the other by taking all the blood supply and that sort of thing, so one baby only survives. <laughs> Hello, Rusty. Daddy, what, what are you what? doing in mommy's womb? I came to tell you, son. There is another venture. Why are you talking like Yoda? This is your dream, Rusty. You tell me. Oh! Sometimes, crazily, we can have dreams that would wake us up when we're actually having pain, and the pain is actually in the dream, too. Creepy, like some Nightmare on Elm Street kind of stuff. <coughs> Brock, wait! Don't! He tried to kill you, Doc. I know, but he's my... Brother, so does this mean we're even now? No, not by a long shot, Rusty. I think you owe me something for 43 years of hell. Actually, I know people who are highly functioning with like one arm and you just adapt. And so this looks like more probably a birth defect than actually like trauma that occurred. My apologies, Dr. Venture. I'm loath to intrude while you're entertaining uh, guests. <laughs> that stock's deformed twin brother he absorbed in the womb was come back for revenge, but now they made up, so. I like where this is going. Very complex medical issues, but that truly does happen. You can have twins and one gets absorbed by the other. I need an operation fast, and you're the best I know at this kind of unorthodox world. Whoa. Let me guess. You want to beat up Hunter, but you can't punch a girl. So you want me to make a sniff, sniff, meow, can't what? fly. What? I get a lot of patients that come to the ER that get surgeries or weird things in other countries. Careful if you do go out to other countries and have surgeries if you live in the United States. I uh, want you to remove something a little higher up. Oh. What made you change your mind? Huh? I put in a lot of doors this year. Ever since the Iron Man, everybody wants to do robot hard. You need to make sure that you have good follow-up, that your regular primary care doctor knows what you're doing because there can always be potential complications that then need to be taken care of. How come all the sudden you trust me now? What's to stop me from killing you when you're under? Him. Oh, nice. More commonly, to keep somebody's heart beating, right? We have pacemakers, a little battery pack with a couple of wires that go in. Keep it actually beating based on giving it a little zap of electricity every time. Pretty impressive though, what science can do. Guess old Doc had a couple of pieces of metal in his body I didn't know about when I signed the consent form, and uh, well, he just went all kinds of jiffy pop inside that thing. Whoa, crazy, right? So if you go into an MRI machine and you got metal in your body, it's a big magnet. It might be like sucking metal out of your body. Sometimes if somebody actually doesn't know, we'll actually do x-rays of certain areas where they think they might have metal, just to confirm that there is no metal in the body before we do an MRI. Hey, uh, isn't this right about where you put those pins in when you reattach his arm? If you're an orthopedist or you're doing orthopedic surgery, the metals that you're putting in the body, they won't cause any of this. So what did he put in there? Differential diagnosis. What causes partial paralysis? Differential diagnosis, again, is throwing out the diagnosis that it could be, but you're looking at different systems. And then you're getting the different type of diagnoses through each category and narrowing it down to what the reality of the possibilities that it actually could be that. Stroke is the most likely culprit, but let's try to think outside the box here. He's hooked on house. In the blood work ruled out snake bite, Lyme disease, and red tide selfish poisoning, as well as, I'm sorry on this one, Dean, lazy <laughs> faith. <laughs> I love the reference to house. So other things that could also mimic a stroke is Bell's palsy, and then this guy is <laughs> Pops pills, no exercise. These are all things that could cause a stroke and the symptom of being partially paralyzed. But it's, it's still just a theory. Oh, how about gum? As every schoolboy knows, it's undeniable medical fact that a piece of gum takes 30 years to digest. No, gum did not do that. And no, it doesn't take 30 years to digest in your system. You poop it out. Like people always think it gets stuck. I'm guessing a little rusty here was a swallower back in the day. <laughs> and those chicklets are finally coming home to roost. Don't, don't write that. Most common things are common. What do I mean by that? If people have partial paralysis or the half of the side of their body, it's most likely a stroke. 
There are a lot of other things that can cause it not gum. Venture Brothers, this is my first time checking this show out. I actually really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the medical terminology, the way that they're discussing topics on point. I really, really enjoyed it. Can't wait to do more. Let me know in the comments which episodes or scenes that I need to check out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, I think you're gonna love this one, so check it out. Thanks for watching and stay healthy, my friends.